This morning, Angel Daniel is gifting us with forgiveness. A recurring theme. He's been up already. He's been up a few times, Angel Daniel, and I suppose he's a, he is important because it's these things that affect our spleen and our liver. It's around forgiveness and resentment. And I suppose sometimes I look at it around guilt. And I often say that we can't forgive another truly. We truly can't forgive another until we forgive ourselves. And I call Friday forgiveness Friday. And it's that sense of letting ourselves off the hook, looking back over our week and seeing the times when perhaps we were hard on ourselves and hard on others, because quite often we get to be so hard on ourselves that, that we can't cope with it. And so then we turn it out and be hard on others. And it's to me, it's, it's sort of like a, 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 a yin and a yang or a, a coming and going or a dance between, um, you know, the guilt and being wanting to feel powerful. So when we turn things in in ourselves, it, it sort of brings up that sense of being powerless. And when we when we then want to feel guilty about something, it helps us because when we feel guilty, then we think we've done something wrong. So we've done it. So we become powerful in the situation. And that, but it equally reinforces the powerlessness. It's, it's a funny sort of dance that goes on between the two. And then we project that out and transfer that out on others and need to become powerful over them. And it really comes down to a sense of being hurt and feeling powerless being shamed more than guilt. I think guilt, most guilt, is false guilt. Most guilt is false guilt. It's about us needing to feel powerful in a situation. We mightn't even have been there, but we'll find a reason to be guilty. And then we've, we've got some power. And I suppose that's the ego, isn't it? Um, it's our need to be needed and our need to be powerful or a need to be in control, especially when we feel we're not. That can happen in many, many situations, but it all comes down to sometime in our lives, probably very early on in childhood, where we were left feeling powerless. And that can happen without it being anybody's fault. And sometimes it is somebody's fault, but it does happen. So perhaps today, this soul time is about just sitting with yourself and acknowledging being compassion for yourself being your best friend right now and placing your hands on your solar plexus area which is just below your ribs and between your ribs and your belly button just placing your hands there and acknowledging Even though I can be hard on myself, even though I can, you know, find where I can be powerful, I can be guilty, I put myself down and I'm being powerful even over myself. And then that goes out and transfers onto other people. Right now, I truly forgive myself. So again, placing your hands on your that area, just keeping them there and breathing. And even though I can judge myself harshly and judge others equally as harsh and transfer my hurt and my pain and my guilt onto them. Right now, I truly forgive myself. And part of what you're forgiving yourself for is that maybe the time would be better spent if we actually were more compassionate with ourselves and did forgive ourselves and did just acknowledge, yes, we were hurt. And 
we haven't got this dealt with up to now, that we've had years to deal with this and we keep avoiding it by overeating, over drinking, over exercising, blaming others, being critical of others, instead of just taking a little bit of time to place our hands on our solar plexus and breathe and truly love ourselves. Forgive ourselves, love ourselves. Be what we need to be for ourselves. And then get on with living our best life. Because all of this is preventing us from living our best life. In a few minutes, I'm going to do some tapping on this. Relocate my camera. But just breathe, even, even if this is just the time you have. I truly forgive myself. I truly love myself. I truly like myself. I can truly sit with myself and love the company I keep. I truly am the best I can be. I truly know that as I am, I am gift. And when we start to do this and forgive ourselves and just let go of the pressure that we have ourselves under, our liver and our spleen get relief and start to have less of an emotional job to do and can get on with the physical job they need to do. We need all these organs working away in there, but the more emotional upset we have and the more emotional pressure we're putting ourselves under by judging ourselves so harshly. And we learned that. We learned that very early on in life from watching others, from listening to what they said and from taking it on board. So now it's time to Choose what it is you want to be. And that's the beauty about our being, our brain. We can create neural pathways every second of every day. And the more we think down those pathways, the more we use them, the stronger they get. And the more we use them and the stronger they get, they become automatic pathways, neural pathways, that hopefully will kick into when we get stressed instead of always kicking into the stronger, deeper, more negative, hurt neural pathways that are there. So even by doing this and taking this time every day, you're nurturing your soul, you're creating new pathways and you're offering yourself a new way of being right now. We can't live our past again. We can try, but you're just using all your energy and putting it somewhere and it's not, it's not doing anything for you now. Yes, you can take a bit of time and that's what I do with people and go back and tap on and retune those past events that allows you to be even more fully in the present and you can then tune in good, new, strong neural pathways and that's what tapping does. Absolutely, you can do that, but to spend all your life continually back in the past and you know you're doing that when you're always critical of other people, when you're always needing to be in control of other people, that's where it comes in. So, blessings on your day. Truly love yourself, truly forgive yourself, and truly bless yourself with forgiveness. <laughs>